Well, hello, 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 and welcome to another episode on the Athoscraft server. My name is RC RC, and we are still in the hunt. Although I had my untimely demise in the last episode, the hunt game is not over yet, as neither Tony nor I have met our demise by the hand of another, which means that the diamonds that are behind me here are still up for grabs. So we're looking forward to seeing how people try and trap, shoot, burn, kill, drop us this uh, this week. But anyways, let's get on with what we're going to be working on today. So today, we're going to start our first big build of our own base. And so we have to start by gathering some materials, getting some stuff. And so let's go and check out our shops. So first thing we're going to do is check out the totem shop and see how it's doing. All right, here we are. Ah, yes. Look at that. Looks like we got 10 diamonds from the totem shop. They're doing much better than I thought they would do. I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so in the bookshop, we got four diamonds here. Let's just check all these boxes. What are we going to get? A couple diamonds there from Aqua Infinity. Fortune there, Silk Touch, Respiration. Oh, there's a couple diamonds. All right, we got Protection 4. Here's one book sold. Mending. Oh, yes. I just can't keep these things stocked. I've been putting in six or seven every day. Anyways, all right, let's check on Breaking. So on Breaking 3, <laughs> those ones keep selling out too. So anyways, so Efficiency, there's a few more. So 55 diamonds. That brings our total in our shops today to 65 diamonds. Not bad for one day. Let's see here. Let's grab nine stacks. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bottles. There we go. So wool is still three stacks for a diamond. We are buying. Moving along here, we got flowers. Oh, I'm hoping there's some black in here. I don't, I don't see any. Definitely probably buy some pots. So let's grab a... I'm going to assume these are one diamond per stack. Let's grab a stack of... Let's grab a stack here. So there's a stack. Throw some diamonds in there. Uh, light blue I could always use. Let's grab a stack of those. And blue, is it lapis? No, that's flowers. Okay, let's grab some of those. Save me by using up some, all my lapis. And those I don't need. The next shop over here is Blems. And he sells terracotta. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, no. Is he sold out of terracotta? Oh, it looks like we're going dead. He's got one piece of terracotta. <laughs> Oh, he's sold out. It looks like we're going digging. Yep, we're going digging. Uh, what else is that? Oh, string. Yes, we're going to need string. And we're going to grab, how much is the sand? Uh, three stacks for diamond. Perfect. Okay, so we'll grab uh, nine stacks. So let's throw this in here. How much is this? <gasps> three diamonds a stack? That's going to run me down. Oh, we need it. Let's go for it. Let's grab two stacks of red. Grab two stacks of brown. Let's grab gray as well. Grab three stacks of that. Bow, bow, and bone. All right, so what do you got? Oh, bone blocks. Yeah, we'll grab some of that. I always, always use bone blocks. And I'm going to go ahead and buy a few stacks of this. So that's five, ten. Let's go. There you go. So that was 16 we bought. All right, so that's three stacks for 16 diamonds. That's pretty pricey. But you know what? As I said, I'm going to spend my diamonds this season. Slimy neighbors. Great for smoothies. Conflict free. RSPCA approved. The slime shop. I think this is curly. Uh, two diamonds equals 32 slime balls. Oh, man, that is pricey. That is definitely early game prices. Um... I'm going to buy one stack. Three diamonds a stack. Oh, wow. All right, we'll buy some. All right, so we're going to buy, say, four stacks of rockets. I love me some shulkers, so I'm going to buy nine of them. So that's going to be 54 diamonds. All right, so four, I iron four diamonds a stack. 
Oh no, sold out. Really cool looking shop though, I like this. Yeah, that's what I feel about that book. <laughs> I wish I could burn it. And he's got barrels of nothing. A diamond, a barrel. Oh boy. Alright, we're going to buy some barrels. Why? Don't ask. There we go. Nice. So we got a whole bunch of barrels of nothing. Bottles of... I'm not paying a diamond for a bottle. A chest. I'm not paying for a chest. Uh, invisible glass. Yeah, not going to happen. Solar powered torches. No. Unpowered or dust. No. And premium bird poo. Ugh. All right, so now we have the fun of the next part of our preparation for our next build, which is having to go to mine some terracotta because, unfortunately, we don't have any terracotta. All right, we've got the beacon in place. We've got some hills behind us that need to be destroyed, and we are... Got those ugly particles on us, so we've got haste two ready to go. Let's get uh, let's get to digging. Here we are out in the mining district. We've been out here for quite some time and we have got a lot of resources. So almost six shulkers full of stuff. So we're about five and a half shulkers full of um, terracotta. And so I think that's enough to get us started. I don't actually think it's enough to continue, but we have sort of obliterated that mountain. And so we'll have to come back next time and take out another mountain. But anyways, we'll head back to the base and we'll see if we can get started on our big build. Alright, so we are near our base. Um, this is technically our base because that's the land of our, uh, of our island over there. Um, but Falling Star has built this fantastic bridge. And so we're going to take advantage of this. And we're going to connect our two... Um, connect our two bases there and you can see in the distance there that's Alaska's base so the three of our bases are going to be side by side and since I'm severely lacking in any style on my base so far uh, I'm going to go ahead and build the first uh, first item in the base so this is all Falling Stars territory over there and that's Alaska's over there uh, we all have rivers dividing our area so she's built this bridge over to my island here and so I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of this, and I'm going to treat the end of this bridge like a dock, um, an air dock, in fact. And so we're going to actually build a huge airship right here over the uh, over this land, so that it's going to dock with this bridge and be a uh, a loading area for uh, the airship. And then later on, we're going to build some steam uh, ships down in the water and those kind of things. So should be lots of fun. Anyways, we're going to get started.
All right, so we've got the main shape of the ship done. We did add some lights after I finished the time lapse there, as well as we added some bubble vaders there to be able to bubble eight right up inside the uh, right inside the balloon there, and we can go up and down inside. Let's go and take a quick look inside. Um, come up with some good ideas for what to do. I want this to be absolutely functional. I don't want it to be just a big balloon in the middle of somewhere. So as you can see, we have a lot of room inside here. So uh, lots of things, sorting systems, mob farms, lots of things. The only, there will be a limitation that I can't do uh, a villager based farm in here. And the reason why is because we're fairly close to Falling Stars villagers and I don't want to interfere with her uh, linking to beds and linking to workstations. So there won't be any villagers in here, but any other, anything else I could put in here. So write down in the comments, what do you think I could put in here? And maybe give me some good ideas. I'm going to leave this for probably a little while. I'm going to decorate this. So we're going to put some windows here. We're going to, we're going to put some iron bars and strapping around the outside. We are going to build down here we are going to build the cabin so where the where the passengers say so the passenger cabin will be here and the uh, captain's quarters for driving the the balloon will be there too so typically these things are basically just full of air but we're going to use that space effectively so and then we're going to have to help falling star finish decorating this up she had left it sort of hanging because she didn't know what i was going to do here so now as we've sort of got this outlined uh we can now finish her decorations here and we can come and work together and make the end of this look really good so i'm excited to uh to keep working so i'm going to go ahead and we're going to work on some decorations put some windows up in there and we'll be back all right so as you can see we have made some progress on the balloon so we have gone ahead and put some windows around the outside. We put some lighting on it. We changed the bubble vader a little bit by adding some jungle wood and cocoa beans, which I think is a cool effect with the cocoa beans looking like lights. And then we got a, we got a lot done on the passenger compartment. So I want to show you, show you this. So let's go down and have a look. As you go forward, you can see we extended the deck out here a little bit so that we have some better use here. We have uh, some scaffold here to be able to get up. We added the acacia gates here um, that Falling Star had started. And then we used some of the lot of the crafting table type of block. So we use smokers here for uh, a gate system. So it looks like there could be bars here to block it off. And then we also use smokers here to look like chains are coming out of the smokers. And this is like a drawbridge here. So this bridge would go up against this area here to block it off. But when a ship comes in, basically they're going to have, they're going to land here and they're going to attach through the gate system here. So when they're ready to go, so that'll keep the passengers in. This will keep the passengers on the gate. But once, once they're landed and docked, they can drop those and then you can come in. You can see inside we've got this all decorated. You can see I used furnaces for the ceiling, so it makes it look fairly rustic. Uh, the floor, I wanted it to be sort of steampunky, basically. So it looks like cast iron, basically. So these are smithing tables. And then we used, again, some smokers here. We have lights built into it here, so we can turn the lights on and off. A little lounge area for the passengers. I want to find a better place for the ender chest, but for now, that's where it is. So I've got an anvil in here. You can see there's a crafting table hidden in here. Again, we're going to turn the lights on and off. As we go up here, you can see there's the smithing tables again. And then as we go up here, you can see that we've got a captain's uh, quarters. So this is the, this is the uh, pilot's seat. Basically, there's a navigation map here for them a seat here we use some blast furnaces to simulate some controls we've got a switch here which will turn the lights on and off and as well as you can see where you're going then on the outside of this you can see that i used blast furnaces on the side here and the idea was that that was going to look like steam vents and so we have still have lots to do here i want to go ahead and add the straps around the balloon so that we can put chains down and attach it to the passenger compartment. So just the bubble vader won't be the only attachment. There'll be some chains coming down, sort of similar to this. 
but there'd be a big strap around the balloon and then attached to the strap it would go down to the passenger compartment and be four of them we also have to add the propeller so the back of this here the reason why the front's so much longer than the back is because the back here is going to be an engine room and off the back of the engine room will be a propeller and that'll allow you to move forward and the other thing that we did was we added the windows so if we go way up to the top in inside here you can see we've got some foxes spawning in here but we did add the windows in here and they look they look better from the outside i haven't decorated the inside whatsoever yet but we did add the windows here and what i'll do here is i'll take a quick fly around and show you what that looks like so as we turn around you can see the window actually looks really cool it looks like some kind of a nautical window that you might see in a submarine or something like that i actually think it looks really really good same sort of thing there. I might change the glowstone out a little bit because it does really stand out. Um, the glowstone does match the steampunk sort of build, but I think that the uh, there is a lot of it there and I think it might be too much. But you can see the window. I think the window looks really, really good. So anyways, I want to leave this project for now. I got one more thing I want to do in this episode and that's get our third store open. So we're going to leave this for now. We're going to continue this next time. And we're going to go head over to the shopping district and get our next store ready to go. All right, here we are in the shopping district and I am ready to build. So we've picked a place out here. So here's the uh, here's the town hall and one of the one of the little builds that Blem did to trip me, trick me. And uh, and uh, Job here has his teleporter system, which we'll go over another day. So I decided I'm going to build this shop right here, and it's going to be the Emerald Shop. And so this is, I think, a good idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to lower this mountain down, and then we're going to raise this area up. So we have a fairly large area. Uh, I have a good idea of what I want to do for the design here. I have to work out some details still. Um, but I did go into creative mode and uh, work out uh, a sort of initial design. And one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, the glass trick where you dig down so many levels so that you can have like the fog effect on the ground. And so in order to do that, however, we had to set up the beacon. So since we're going to have the emerald shop, we might as well show it off while we're digging. So um, basically we've got both haste 2 here for digging the big hole. And then as well as uh, some jump boost, because with the glass, you have to do it every second layer. And so getting out of that hole afterwards is a bit of a pain usually. So, OK, so we've made some progress and essentially you can see here we've got the hole dug. We've got the glass in. I think it looks fantastic. The fog effect. So the way we do this is we dig down and we put glass every second layer. Now I have a connected glass resource pack on so you don't see the lines. Um, so it does look a little bit better. But by putting glass every second layer and putting a source of lights, if you look closely, you can see some sea lanterns down the bottom there. And that light source makes the glass really shine and creates that fog effect. So it looks better during the day than it does at night. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with the bottom so far. So we're going to go ahead and start building the main section of it. All right, we just took, it took us about uh, 45 minutes or so. But we basically widened this out by one block this way. And we also widened it out by one block this way. So we were able to use up uh, the resources. We had to go gather a little bit more dye so that we could... Uh, get the concrete in here because we had to use like two extra blocks so it did take a little bit more but now we've got a clean palette and what's best of all is that we have an odd number we are 11 by 11 now rather than being 10 by 10 and that makes life a whole lot easier so we're going to go ahead and put our front door right here and then we can go ahead and do this to place the crystal down and this now should be perfectly aligned perfect there we go so we now have it set so that that's like that now i don't want to actually have the bottom of the store being this big i actually have the store very small i don't want the inside very big so i'm actually going to have it so that this layer is going to be actually somewhat up so it's going to start thinner go wider and then go back in again and i think i'm going to go up by say two two blocks for each layer 
So if we want to have the middle of the store being about four to five blocks off the ground, that means we're going to come in two blocks from each spot. Let's see what the bottom of the store is going to look like then. So that means this is going to be here to here for the first one and here to here to the second one. So the store will end up being this triangle on the bottom layer. Uh, so is this big enough for a store? Absolutely. It's perfect. <laughs> yes, it is small, but that's okay. I think we're only going to be selling one thing. So we don't need a huge store inside. I think it's better to have a store that looks really cool on the outside. So let's go ahead and build this up. All right, and there's the store done. It's looking pretty good. I like it better this time. Um, although I want to maybe add some solid blocks inside so that you can see it. Um, but at night, this looks really, really cool. So I'll put up a screenshot in a second of what it looks at night. But anyway, so it is actually the next day. So what I need to do now is actually go and check to see, did we make any sales? And I have not had a look yet. So we're selling emeralds here for two diamonds per stack. Or if we have enough uh, blocks, we'll sell emerald beacon bases for 48 diamonds. So you can see here we have 160 blocks in there. And that will uh, is enough for a standard beacon. But nobody's bought any of those yet. Nobody's bought any emeralds yet. Sad day. Sad day. So let's go check our money chest. So here we go. Add the diamonds to it. And that's going to give us 123 diamond blocks plus one more there. So 124 diamond blocks. We were over two stacks yesterday, but then I went and bought uh, a shulker full of rockets. And uh, those are three diamonds a uh, stack. So, all right, it's been a busy, busy episode. We've done a lot of things, got a lot of things done. We've covered several days worth of work on the server. But unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today. So a couple of reminders. We do have a Discord server, so come join us, chat with us, and see us online, see our screenshots before the videos come out. In addition to that, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed, why not? Hit the subscribe button. Thank you, everyone, and we will see you in the next one.